Welcome or welcome back to my channel guys. I am beyond excited to talk about today's video. I'm going to be focusing on designer slash luxury, luxury, luxury bags for fall winter 2023. I have been doing so much research for some upcoming videos so I'm really excited um, for the direction of the channel and just sharing with you guys things that are making me excited about fashion um, and re like um, reigniting my love for this industry and yeah so if you're interested please stay tuned please like comment subscribe we're gonna be doing a lot more in the know videos and I do have a playlist called in the know where any topic that I'm kind of giving suggestions on or like oh look out for this will be in that playlist so feel free to check it out please follow me on Instagram if you aren't already where you get to see my style lived out and yeah today's bags though will be focusing more so on like the minimalist brands but yeah if you're interested let's get into the video brand slash bag number one I want to talk about is the Loewe squeeze bag <sighs> guys when I watched their fall winter um, women's wear show, it's so interesting because Loewe is such a layered brand. It has like a very minimalist and technical side to it. And then it also has a side that's super artistic and fun and quirky. So I feel like Loewe um, kind of meets just so many different ends of fashion and I think that's one of the exciting things about the brand but I tend to of course gear towards the side that is a little bit more minimal and the squeeze bag I am in love with the colors it comes in the fact that it plays with texture I feel like I did speak about this in my oh, sorry if you just heard my brother sneeze um, I did speak about this in my how to elevate your outfits video but adding texture is such a fun way to add extra interest to a look so the squeeze bag it does I believe come in leather and then has kind of like this boucle knit Kind of version i'll put them on the screen and I, I i just love it and then it has like um a chain with a ball at the end of it and i see it in gold the the chain i don't know if it comes also in silver but one of the reasons i'm also loving this bag is the colors that it come it's coming in side note if you're interested in me doing like a fall a mood board like what my my vibe is for this coming season let me know because I could do that for you I like doing that at the beginning of every season or when I'm feeling re-inspired because I just feel like it helps me be more intentional with my wardrobe but yes the squeeze bag is definitely one to look out for bag number two is another one from Loewe this collection had quite a few bags that I feel like were noteworthy, but for me, I'm only going to focus on two. I'm going to also mention the Paseo bag. I really like this one, and if you see me looking over here, it's because I have like my notes and the photos up here. But I really like this bag because it's quite an intriguing style and shape. It is a little bit more long, and ugh, it kind of looks like... An extended like a stretched out version of my Ganny bag like how it has the two um, like ropes at the side um, that are knotted and then it does have like the Loewe emblem in like a gold little ball and I just again as someone who I don't typically wear a lot of colors in uh, an outfit where my joy comes from when I'm doing an outfit is the layering of maybe like a monochromatic look but each piece in that look is a different texture or it's different lengths or the it's asymmetric and I just can imagine this bag um styled with various like really low-key looks but this bag will have impact in a non- What's the word? In a non obnoxious way, if that makes sense. I, I, and again, I'm loving the colors they're choosing. There's one that's like a canvas, um, half canvas and half black leather. Love it. There's another one that's like a taupey color and it has some green, like a taupe olive 
mink color the next brand we're gonna look at is Bottega and I mean I love Bottega and hot take I'm enjoying Blazy more than Lee for Bottega I know I know some people may like fight me on that but I just feel like Blazy's style is a little bit more laid back and whereas Lee's style was a little bit more dramatic like they're I don't know I just feel like Blazy sometimes I love Bottega even when like when Daniel Lee like revived it but I felt like when during Bottega Daniel Lee era it was a little bit too cool for me a little too edgy um kind of vibe whereas with Lee it had it just took a, a little bit of the percentage of that out and added a little bit more of a laid back vibe to it and that is what's what feels more me anyways not having anything to do with the bags well I guess it kind of does because this collection I loved the bag I wanted to first speak about is the is the Tosca bag Tosca bag with the intrecciato leather I I think another thing about Blazy style it's a little bit again it's quieter and not we're not gonna get into the quiet luxury thing because I'm not gonna talk about my issues with that but I do like that the styles that he does bring out are a lit they're just they focus on the craftsmanship and I don't know they're just cool I don't know how, what else to say about it I like that it's a very classic looking bag like it looks like something that people of all ages could wear and you could have it for years and years to come and it would not be old or seem old it could be a very timeless bag but i like that though it has a structuredness to it there's still the slouchiness in the center which again adds that kind of laid back look and you could dress it up or down there's also the desiree bag which kind of gives me reminds me of the like dior bobby bag as well as the APC Grace bag and a touch of the Celine like box bag. I really liked this one in the, I think it's like ostrich leather. I don't know if that's the correct leather that it's in, but I'll put it on the screen so you can kind of get a vibe for what I'm talking about. It's just a really simple silhouette, but it feels a little cuter than um, the other bags from um Bottega of course like the Jody and stuff like that those are cute but this one just feels I don't know I just think it's cute and it'd be a really nice everyday bag and because of the different colors it comes in again a nice way to add an extra pop to an outfit so the Tosca and Desiree bag are two bags that I'm like I and I love the sardine bag, but I guess that was a very popular more so the spring summer, but I still really like the sardine bag. And I think they have it in more of a tote style as well with a longer strap, which I think is also really cool. Okay, I just wanted to add this in here because I'm scrolling through the looks of Bottega's Fall Winter 2023 um, looks. And there is this like, almost like a pail. It looks, it's like a bucket bag and the strap is sardines and something about it i don't know why i feel like emotional <laughs> but i just i'm re i think so for me i love cloudy with the chance of meatballs and if you watch the movie and you know it then you know um the whole sardine thing and why sardines are so special for the town and this is like a really chic cool fun way that it reminds me of that um, and I feel like for the minimalist girlies, the, you don't often see such playful things in this sector of fashion. And I feel like this was such a great execution of not taking fashion too seriously, but still making it very wearable and chic. I just wanted to add that in there. And when I saw this picture, it just gave me a, a little, because Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is my happy movie. Okay, back to our regular schedule. Next brand we're talking about is Kate, which again, a brand, I feel like it's a minimalist brand, but it's a little bit more fancy feeling. I don't know why I feel like that about Kate. I feel like out of the brands that I'm talking about today, there's a little bit more glamour to Kate. 
maybe that's just me who feels that way but it feels i don't know a little bit more i don't know why anyways but i wanted to talk about the lotus bag specifically in the smaller size i think this bag is so cute i think it kind of reminds me of a wonton let me even just search it yes the bag it kind of reminds me of a wonton um but like a fried wonton and i think it is so cute like the little bag especially in suede i really like this bag and i feel like you could um it would be a great bag that transition into all months there's a casualness to it but the style of it like that bucket bag i feel like works really well for spring summer but also with the suede component gives it that cozy fall vibe and then the fact that it's so small you i mean depending on what size you prefer but i like the smaller one but because it's so small you could also dress it up um across the seasons including in winter like trench coat that small bag i feel like is a really cute vibe so i did want to um touch on the lotus bag and then another one is the maze bag i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly but the main reason i wanted to mention the maze bag is because i feel like currently there's this trend of almost like vanity case bags bags that w would typically look like a makeup bag but now they are like actual like handbags laura piana also has the l19 bag which we can just talk about now the l19 bag by laura piana i feel like again has that very makeup bag travel case like look to it um and personally it's not my most favorite bag but one of the things i like about it is it's very easy you just like zip it open and then you put your stuff in like a makeup bag but i also think the color selection and material selection is very nice um but same vibe to the mave bag from kate and then also the row has the 90s bag which also has that like square look and then with the handle which reminds me of a travel case and kind of like a boston bag so those are that's why i wanted to speak on the mave by kate it's not super my style but i think it's it's a cute bag number four on our list in no particular order is the row and as previously mentioned the 90s bag is quite trendy i would say um it's a timeless bag i would you could count it as but it is a bag from the row that i've been hearing a lot of people talk about as well as like i think it's called the half moon bag and it has that like cut out um which is another fun way i think in minimalism to play with shapes rather because you may not have all the other elements on the bag like lots of hardware um so it's a nice shape the half moon bag and then also the soft margot bag i think that's the bag i saw the most in their runway collection and i would often see it like held almost as a clutch it kind of looks like luggage and it it's a it's a really effortlessly cool bag i like i've been in love with suede like which is so weird because when i was younger i used to say to my mom i hate suede i would never wear suede and now it's like the number one fabric i'm looking for anyways that just goes to show but yes the soft margot bag and the 90s bag i would say are like the two most trending bags from the row but with that being said the bag i want to give some light to is the arlo bag from the row this there's something about this bag i don't know why again i'm looking at my screen because um to look at imagery um but the arlo bag she's just a chic cool girl this is a bag i could see someone wearing for dinner or just a slightly more maybe not your everyday bag you could use it as an everyday bag but i think this is a nice um option for a more you know you want to dress up a little bit but you don't want a bag that does necessarily too much although i feel like with this bag for someone that appreciates fashion and not only fashion but overall aesthetics it kind of gives me the vibe of high like um furniture there's something about it that 
evokes some sort of emotion within me of what I get when I see um, really creative furniture or fur furniture I would like to have in my future home. And the dark brown like cognac color with like brown um, red undertones with the silver like handle. I just think, <sighs> are you envisioning with me? Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I really did. Again, I get really excited. Um, and it starts like this fashion frenzy inside. I don't know if that's a good thing <laughs> But I really really enjoyed filming today's video and I hope you enjoyed it Let me know if there's anything you want me to like dive more into I'm also going to leave below some of my favorite um, Content creators specifically on YouTube. Maybe I'll also list some Instagrammers But that I really enjoy watching that are have a similar style um, and interest in style to me um, just in case you were looking for more content creators like this and yeah I'm excited for what's to come and I hope you guys can feel that and thank you for your support I've recently been receiving some more like comments from people who have watched me from like when I first started this channel in grade 10 of high school and now I'm a university graduate so it's really cool to see how this channel has evolved a lot of those videos are privated for good reason but it's really cool to be able to be on this like fashion journey and a life journey with you guys and so yeah please like comment subscribe follow me on instagram and i hope to see you in next week's video bye